The, which uh, was abandoned around 300 years before the arrival of the Spaniards. Well, no. So, okay. before the arrival of the Spaniards, Chen Itza was completely abandoned, 300 uh, years, completely covered by, by the vegetation. So what happened in Chen Itza? Chichen Itza, I have to talk about Chen Itza, even we are here because it's very uh, related. Chichen Itza, uh, uh, its apogee period was between 800 and 1200 AD when the city was ruled by a Mayan dynasty named Itza. Itza, like the name of the city. All the Mayan cities used to be ruled by a different, by a different uh, uh, family or dynasty. In other words, the Mayans, they never were an empire. All the Mayan cities were completely independent of each other. Some of them, well, up today, we call all, all that people in the Mexican area and the Central American area, we call them in general Mayans because they share several cultural features, some uh, uh, physical features, but in the past, they were not like a family. All the cities, as I said, were ruled by different people, by different uh, tribes or, or families, dynasties, and some of them were rivals, some of them uh, uh, had a different kind of uh, alliances. And in the case of Chen Itza, its apogee period was because of one alliance with two, uh, with another two very powerful cities in North, uh, in North Yucatan, I mean the city of Uxmal and Mayapan. The city of Uxmal and Mayapan and Chen Itza they were part of that we call the triple alliance and they and they had a, the hegemony of the all of the old peninsula for for a long <laughs> the walls with the sticks because of the irregular shape of the sticks that let the wind to pass through like a ventilation system and then they make a flat roof just feel the difference of temperature here than out there can you feel the difference yeah. and it's because of this material okay. and a Mayan house they just built with the sticks the walls because of the irregular shape that let the wind like a ventilation system. Okay guys, let's go. Very, very, very touristic now. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So cool. yeah, yeah, the name Mikla, really, it is the formation yeah. of the word Mikman. Yeah. Yeah. The Mikman is the, the, the Nahuatl name for the underworld. Yeah. It's like the Shibagba for the Mayans, but it's different language. They yeah. call it Mikman. But after a time, they, they deformed the word that was today is the city for Mikman. Yeah. yeah. It's exactly the same thing. It is the, I think Mikla is the only necropolis in almost America. Yeah, it's a great place. Hola, buen día, bienvenidos. Contamos con la visita guiada y no ver solamente piedras.
de los números. Pero no con la intención. Señorita, disculpe, atrás de la soga. Señorita, por favor, gracias. Thank you.
semilla.